many situations, uh, you can't see what you want to shoot properly. Uh, you're going to see a real long red line instead of a dot. Uh, that's not good. It's difficult to get a good measurement. We have various targets that we're going to show you that uh, solve all those problems, okay? One at a time, we'll go through each one and show you the advantages and disadvantages of each one. Um, mainly, though, when we set the tripod up in a room, we want to position it so we don't need to use targets. Uh, you want to put it in a place where everything is visible very easily or maybe just a few targets are necessary at a good angle. Uh, but let's suppose you're forced into a situation where you have a bad angle, okay? Like this one over here. If you notice here, I put the laser here so it shot this elongated beam, which if you're trying to hit a 30 second of accuracy, there's no way it can happen with that. So we have two options for that. Number one, more commonly used, is our pin target. This has a little pin that slips in a hole, and it has a, a flat tapered edge on it. The reason for the taper is if you're really close, you might be able to hit it on the left side or the right side, so you actually raise the laser up like a V-block until it's centered. Now, you can put this along the edge of the part that you want to shoot, the point that you want to shoot, turn this little flat area towards your laser, and then um, hit the laser on that actual target, just like that. Then when you hit that point, it's there. It's not a long line that you're, you know, it's not going to vary, and that's it. Now, another option for doing that is not to use the pin because it's harder to hit. And just simply set the block up here with one of the lines aiming at the edge of the countertop and hit that. It's a little faster, a little easier. I prefer this method over the pins, but we have both, okay? That's a good method for doing that. 